Hey everybody, today we're going to be going through the R3 zoning in the city of Los Angeles. R3 zoning is classified as a mid to high uh, multifamily residential use. Uh, and we see it more in the, you know, more urbanized areas in Los Angeles. Um, and let's walk through uh, some of the uses that you can uh, take advantage of with R3 development. So here we have uh, the Los Angeles summary of zoning. Um, I can include a link to the um, to all the zoning uh, in Los Angeles, so you can kind of get an idea of what you can do with each zoning. But here we have R3. I have it um, squared away, so you can kind of focus on R3. Um, so basically, in the R3 zoning, um, we have an 800 um, per dwelling unit. Uh, right, so let's say to give you an example uh, you have a 8,000 square foot lot um, The way that you calculate how many units you can you can de develop on the site uh, is 8,000 the lot size that you have divided by 800 per dwelling unit, which is allowed for the R3 zoning based on that you can do by right 10 units a few other things that you should be looking at when you look for R3 property is uh, minimum lot size. So per the city, you, ha you have to have a minimum lot size of 5,000 square feet. And a few other things to keep in mind, your uh, setback requirements. So this goes for most of the most, uh, most lots other than C uh, C2 and C1 zones. Uh, you have a rear setback and a front setback of around 15 feet. Uh, in some cases, depending on location, you might have a 25 foot uh, setback. You just gotta keep that in mind. Uh, your side setbacks are usually around five feet. Um, that's kind of typical for most lots. Uh, so th those are a few other things to keep in mind. Uh, it doesn't show it here, but um, the, the height maximum is 45 foot for R3. Uh, but let's uh, kind of like, keep that as a guideline because today with density bonus and the transit oriented communities um, density bonus you're able to um, maximize that height further and you'll also be able to maximize some other elements as well further and you can watch my other videos uh, to, to learn more about uh, the TOC and how you can maximize um, density FAR um, height and all those other elements that uh, come into the development I wanted to show you an example of a project on an R3 uh, zoned lot. Um, the lot size for this property that's sitting on the corner uh, is 8,500 square feet, a little bit over 8,500 square foot. And in this building, they built 12 units. Um, they're all big, big units, um, but you know they built 12 units. Um, it's mainly by right. Um, they're based on 8,500 square foot. Uh, they built 12 units. That kind of makes sense. Um, beautiful development, um, you know, a lot of advantage of being in the corner. Um, and uh, yeah, just a beautiful development, an R3 lot. Kind of, uh, you know, your model for what R3 usually uh, kind of looks like in the city of LA. Next one, uh, we have another property. This one uh, is sitting on a 6880 square foot lot, 6880 square foot. Um, they took advantage of the TOC. Um, on this building, you will have 10 units um, with five parking spots. So you can tell that they took advantage of a TOC. Nice project on an R3 lot. This is another property in R3 lot. Uh, here you, we have uh, 24 units, also part of the TOC. Uh, still on, in the you know in the planning phase, but uh, it's you know it's something that uh, we're going to be com we're going to be seeing soon in the city. Uh, 24 units, uh, TOC R3 zoned. I wanted to give you guys some options for purchasing a real estate. Um, as a real estate broker, I want to give you guys as many options as possible. So I picked out three um, properties that I think are great opportunities that are active in the market right now um, that are worth taking advantage of. Uh, here's one of them. Uh, this one is in North Hollywood. Uh, the parcel size is 8109, and the this owner um, already pulled plans for the site for a 10-unit development. 
with three bedroom, two and a half bath on each um, on each unit. Now the plans have expired, but they do exist, so we, we could review them if we did like them. Um, but based on um, what I'm looking at, uh, we can maximize this lot further. We can have more units on this. Uh, by right, you can do 10 units the way they have it. Uh, but if you want to take advantage of the TOC and add more units, you can get as much as 18 units on this site. So we, d we do have plans for 10, but if you wanted to um, submit new plans, um, you can get as many as 18 units on this site with two, two to four units that are affordable. So you get an extra four units um, compared to this one, which is, which is 10. Um, here is uh, some site pictures some of the renderings that they have on to the next one uh, here's another opportunity uh, it's in Hollywood the lot size on this parcel is 9050 um, they don't have any plans on this one uh, based on what I'm calculating uh, you can build about 11 units by right uh, if you wanted to take advantage of the TOC you can get as many units as 18 or even 20 um, there is a 1xl limitation on the property, um, but with the TOC, taking the advantage of the TOC, we're gonna we're able to get the height, um, the height limit, you know, bumped up a little bit, so we can get more height out of the, out of the development. So this is this one. They they did have a price reduction. They they adjusted, which is great. So right now I think this is a great opportunity at this price price for this type of development. Here's some exterior shots of what's existing. Hey right, guys, so this is another example. This one is in Venice, uh, Par Los Angeles, West Los Angeles, near Marine Del Rey. Um, I wanted to bring this example forward uh, because yes, it's a higher price point, but the price per square foot in Venice is way higher than most of Los Angeles. And when you develop a, a parcel like this, you'll be able to get higher rents in higher uh, property values um, in this area. So yes, the cost for the land is higher But the units will be worth a lot more in the long run. So on this light spe uh, on this lot specifically uh, They're asking 2.25 uh, The lot size is 6,000 square feet and based on that you could build uh, seven units by right and if you want to take advantage of other TOC incentives, you can get that bumped up to nine or ten units. Uh, sometimes it's not worth doing the TOC. Um, in this case, it might not be worth it. It might just be worth going market rate. Um, but this is an interesting parcel. It's located right off Venice in Lincoln. And um, just an opportunity that's worth looking at for R3 development in a higher end, higher end area. Some examples of what the property looks like now. It's pretty just the way it is. But I think that there's a, you can take advantage of this lot uh, further than what's what's existing. Awesome guys, I hope you enjoyed that brief introduction into the R3 zoning in the city of Los Angeles. If you have any other questions uh, or anything I can help, uh, please do give me a call. My name is Gabriel Getter. I'm a real estate broker in the city of Los Angeles. And my number is 818-297-9039. Looking forward to helping you with your real estate needs. Thanks so much.